Chip. There it is. Drops in the Jewish. first three. That's the first three they have made. It ties the game at 11. They're one for six as a team. Jaron Chip out of Fairfax High School the last couple of weeks, 9 p.m. Like clockwork. He's in, the, in their practice facility knocking down jumpers. He doesn't count the number. He just shoots until he feels good. And it's carried over into his on-court game performance. Jorge Gutierrez also in the game. This is Randall. Partially blocked and Borkin tried to grab it. A fine defensive play by Jaron Ship who came out of nowhere to knock it to himself. Well, and also Ty Abbott, the way he flew on that closeout at Jerome Randall and got a piece of the basketball and flushed him in through an air ball. That's the kind of defensive intensity, focus, and effort you're going to need against Jerome Randall to keep his effectiveness down in this game. Both of the, these teams displaying great energy on the defensive end of the floor to start this game. Abbott misses Christopher there for the rebound. Ty has been so strong lately, closed out by Stanford because of defense. But he had an unbelievable game at Arizona last week. Christopher on the drive. Count the basket. Did they say charge? Charge. It's a charge. Yeah, yeah, it looked like one official was about to get the and one signal, but Patrick Christopher missed a couple of long bombs early. I think like two for three from long range. Now he's starting to put his head down, put the ball on the floor, and show that he is more than just a one-trick pony, that he can take it strong and aggressive to the hole. He got the offensive foul on that play, but he's got to continue to look for a driving opportunity. Mike Montgomery thought Eric Boateng slid over and committed the defensive foul. Boateng Boateng will come out of the game now, and in comes Taylor Rohde, a 6'8 sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona State has never won a Pac-10 title. Big guys for Arizona State. A lot of down screens on both blocks, and then that morphs into flare screens at the elbows. Great movement on the part of Jaron Ship to free himself with that jumper. Where has he been? I mean, a nice defensive play on one end. He's knocked out his first two shots, and the Sun Devils have a two-point lead. You told me, see, before the game, it just feels so good since his freshman year. He started off with a 20-point game as a freshman, but to have an impact for his team here down the stretch in their quest for a Pac-10 championship has been so fulfilling for Jaron Ship as a senior. On the floor where his brother had so many great wow. moments as a Golden Bear. 20 points per game, Pac-10 player of the year, Joe Ship. Josh at UCLA, a tremendous player for the Bruins. He's feeling it, Steve. He is feeling it. Oh, my goodness. He is channeling the Joe Ship energy here in the first half. It's a five-point Sun Devil lead, their biggest of the afternoon. This is his own version of senior day, Jaron Ship. Boy, they've denied Randall. There's Gutierrez. Robertson. Nice rebound return. Yeah, nice rebound, but again, Rehart Kutzix has got to play tougher and stronger on the interior. One thing Herb Sindek really got on him about yesterday. That time allowed Theo Robertson to gain inside position for that offensive rebound. Will they go to Jaron Ship? He scored his team's last eight points. Look at that innate ability to, to feed the hot man. Or he get to enter. Now he's trying to become the fireman, trying to cool off Jaron Ship. But Ship going to run through a myriad of screens set by Taylor Rohde, trying to free himself for a jumper. Trent Rocket. Left hand goes. Boy, Taylor. ASU cut up the defense that time. Yeah, nice job. Trent Lockett, the freshman out of Minnetonka, Minnesota. Has had its ups and downs this year, but he's gained invaluable experience in the starting lineup and playing and playing crucial minutes for Arizona State this season. Here's what Carroll wants to do. They want a lot of movement in against the matchup zone. Randall in and out. Offensive rebound by Boykin. Boykin did, did a great job. 25 points, 10 rebounds the first time these two teams met down in Tempe. The crashing of boards, finding the sweet spot, finding the openings in the matchup zone. Glasser. Short with the three. Boykin there for the miss. And it was Boykin's play inside that forced ASU to get their defense. Nice. The interior, opening the lanes for Randall. And now we have a personal foul call. I think it's going to be a block foul. Looks like the official is going to point the other direction. But it's an and one for Theo. Theo Robertson, who grew up in nearby Pittsburgh, California, De La Salle High School, high, gets the bucket with the kiss off the glass. How do we educate in a rapidly changing world? How can we create?